In this video, I'm going to talk about how to fix an issue that is KB5070311 not installing on Windows 11 version 25H2 or 24H2 and how we can fix it. So let's get started. First one is all about we have to retry the update, restart PC and try again. This is what we have to do. So to do so, what we need to do is we just need to go over here, search here for the settings and click on the settings. Now from here, first go to the Windows update and from here, you have to check if you'll be having a retry option here. So if you have any retry option, you have to go for the retry. But if you don't have a retry, you're fine with it. But if you have a retry, you have to go over here and check with it. If that is not the case, you can do a restart. So just go over here, right click and go over here, do a restart. After the restart is done, you have to check and that might work. Next one is all about we have to pause and restart the update. So to do so, what we need to do is we have to go over here, go to the settings, go to pause and update. And from here, what we need to do is we just need to either we have to set this for one week or two week or whatever the duration you have to set this right now. This is on one week. So either you have to try it for two week or three week. Then you have to check for update and you have to see whether that's going to help. Next one is all about what we need to do is we have to start restart app readiness windows update and background intelligent transfer service so just go over here search here for services and you have to click on the services now from here we have to go to app readiness first right click over here and go to the properties and make sure as you can see the start root type is automatic and the service status is stopped so just click on the start now we have to wait and we have to scroll it down and navigate to background intelligent transfer service so just go over here right click and go to the properties go to automatic and the service status is stopped so just click on the start now what we need to do is just wait and once it is up and running we have to go to apply and go for ok now we have to scroll it down all the way down and navigate to windows update here right click and go to the properties now go to automatic and the service status is running and what we need to do is we have to right click and go for restart so once all these things are done, you have to check whether the issue is solved or not. Most probably that might work. Next one, we have to run the SFC and DSM command. So to do so, we have to go over here, type here for CMD. Make sure that you run this as an administrator. And what you need to do is we have to go for yes. Now we have to go to SFC scan now, copy this particular command, go to the file. So to go to the CMD, we have to right click and you have to press enter. So this will take hardly 10 minutes. Keep in mind that once the first command is successfully done, we'll be getting a notification. You have to copy this particular command, copy this and you have to go over here and you have to paste it. Once it is pasted, you're done with it. You just need to press enter and you have to check. Next one is all about we have to use Microsoft update catalog. So find here KB50 over here and you have to find the catalog here. Now from here, we have to go to the link. So I'll be providing a link in the description. So this is the link, copy and paste the command here and go for the search. Once you go for the search, you will be having these values based on your PC requirement. You have to download it. So mine is uh, Windows 11 version 24H2 with x64 based one. So I'm trying, I should download this one. If your system is based on X ARM, you have to download this. So based on your requirement, you have to download and keep it on your computer and you have to check. Next one is all about we have to use option fix problem using Windows update. So go over here in the settings, go to system. Now from here, we have to scroll it down and navigate to recovery. Now from here, go to fix problem using Windows update and go for reinstall now. Once it is done, you have to check and that might work. Next one is all about we have to reset the Windows update component. So copy this entire command from here. Now once everything is copied, we have to right click and go to copy. Now from here, what we need to do is we have to go over here, right click and go to new, create a text document. Now you have to get into this. Now copy and paste the command, go to file, go to save as, go to all files, go to ufix.bat now we have to scroll it down and navigate to the desktop now go to the save now from here we have to close it and go over here right click and we have to run as administrator and we have to do a restart on a computer and you have to check 
Make sure it's all about we have to use the media creation tool. So I'll be giving another one link. Now from here you have to scroll it down and navigate to this one. Now from here you have to download the media creation tool and you have to check. So these are the steps and I hope this kit video is helpful when it comes to how to fix a ship. And if you find this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more notification. That's it. Bye.